I'm traveling around the world to meet some of the people who have been testing the 572 XP in their environment. I'm here at Neil's sawmill, and it's normally a bit of a dust bowl, but he's just had some real bad rain here. It's a bit of a quagmire. And we've got Kia here, who's up in the canopy at the moment, taking off some of the more dangerous branches so that Neil can then fall these trees to make his yard a safer place. I'm Andy Campbell, and this is Australia. So today we've come to, to Neil's sawmill. Uh, he just needs to get some branches down that he's concerned about that have dropped some smaller limbs off them. So he's asked me to come in and prune a few branches. So that's my job here today. Uh, but he's also gonna fell this tree shortly. So uh, we'll get that on the deck and hopefully make the site a bit safer all round. My name is Kia. I've been an arborist for about 18 years. Most of my work is based in Australia, generally speaking in Victoria. Wonderful trees, quite a, a, a broad range, deciduous evergreen trees, small, large trees, pruning, removals. It's very interesting work, keeps me busy, and I've enjoyed every year. generation timberman is what I am. My father and his father before him were sawmillers. I'm actually a forest worker turned sawmiller, so I'm a little bit of both. Being self-employed is the best thing in my job, and uh, it's taught me a lot as far as self-discipline and um, things that you have to do to make it work. The chainsaw we use for cutting logs off, for docking, um, for occasional log falling, it has to be reliable, it has to be up to the job, and um, most of all, it's got to keep working when we want it to work. We've had a lot of success with the Husqvarna product over the years, and um, I'm very happy with it. earlier conditions here are fairly wet but as a rule Neil's main challenge when he's operating a, a chainsaw in Australia is the dusty conditions and so Husqvarna have made a few adjustments to the machine to make that a lot less likely to happen what do you think about that Neil it's a great improvement on previous saws a lot did end up into the chamber whereas this was hard on the bottom of that straight onto the top of the plastic it, it did bypass some Usually we wash the filter out in normal chainsaw mix petrol, um, let it dry or blow it out with some air. Always you see some residue going in there into the chamber, but with the introduction of that little seal, it seems to have all but stopped it, which is a plus for its engine life. And they seem to have the filters a little better now too. Improved there as well. Although hot and dusty turned out to be hot and muddy, Neil seems to be satisfied how the 572 XP performed in these conditions. Oh, can I go now? <laughs> <laughs> So that was the first time that you've used the saw really there, Kia. Yes. So uh, first impressions? A lot of power straight off the bat, which was great. Uh, nice handling. Feels very well balanced, um, which is great. Uh, doesn't feel as heavy as I thought it would. It just sits with the body. The ergonomics are great. Yeah, I am pretty impressed. It's good. good. I'd like to have another crack. 
For more tests in extreme environments, check out the other episodes from the World Tour.